In today's video, we will be starting an alternative 2020 election series where we discuss what would have happened in the election if Donald Trump chose to not run in 2016. This is the first video of my subscriber suggested series of what happened if Donald Trump was not running in the 2016 presidential election. So first, who would have actually won the Republican primary? We know Hillary Clinton won the Democratic primary, but what would have happened if Donald Trump was not in the race? Well, let's look at the map right now. Trump had the red, as, and as you can see, he did very, very well by winning the vast majority of counties. However, what would have happened if he was not in the race? Now, now if we look at the map, uh, the delegate count, it was pretty obvious that Cruz came in second. Trump won easily over a thousand delegates, Cruz won more than 500, Rubio and Kasich both won less than 200. Now we know that Rubio dropped out quite early in the race. That being said, I still think that Cruz would have had the edge because he was he was a senator from Texas and he would have done very very well in the Great Plains in the United States. So I think he would have been the Republican primary winner. So what would have happened in 2016 if Trump was not the GOP nominee, but rather Ted Cruz was the GOP nominee? Now let's start off. Now I think Clinton would still have um, her safe states. Washington, California, Hawaii, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, the state of Delaware, the state of the District of Columbia, the state of Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Vermont, and Illinois. And as well as that, I think Maine's first congressional district. Now, Ted Cruz would have also had his safe Republican states. I don't think there would have been much of a change in some of these safe states. Again, some of these states may have been likely in 2016 in the presidential level against Donald Trump. But I think it really doesn't make much of a difference. Now let's go to likely states, and this is where it gets interesting, because remember, 2016 felt like a long time ago, or for some of you, it may, may have felt like just a couple of days ago. Nonetheless, the demographics are have changed a lot in the past eight years. We have talked about Virginia, but was originally a very competitive state, now it's a safe blue state. Ohio once was a very competitive state, now it is a safe red state. So, without Trump's influence, some of these states may actually be more competitive. Now, first off, let's go to the state of Oregon. This is obviously a likely blue state. Now, for Colorado, um, let's let's leave these states out a little bit, alright? Let's go state by state. Alaska and South Carolina, these are both likely Republican states. There's not much to argue about, but the other states are actually quite interesting. We have Texas, and without Trump, Texas would be quite safe, solidly in the Republican column by about 10 to 12 points for Ted Cruz, especially because he was from that state. Now let's go state by state because these states are actually much more interesting than they may appear to be. Now for the state of Nevada. Nevada went for Hillary by 2.4 points in 2016, so I think he, she would have still wanted to say against Ted Cruz by around a lean margin. I don't think much would have changed there. Now in 2016, Clinton came within 4 points of winning Arizona. That being said, he she was running against a more a candidate that is called Donald Trump, and he was not the most popular in Arizona. I think Ted Cruz would have won by a likely margin. That being and also being said, Hillary Clinton will have had weaker margins in states like New Mexico and Colorado. Again, this is where Ted Cruz could do better, so the Sun Belt states. I think New Mexico would have still been likely, but Colorado could have been tilt because really Trump also made the state quite competitive. And I think Ted Cruz being the Republican nominee, he would have made the state even closer. Now for the state of Florida. Florida would have been very, very interesting. And Hillary Clint Clinton didn't really need the state that much, but Ted Cruz absolutely needed to hold on to the state. And I'll get to that state later. Georgia, I think it will be a likely margin for Ted Cruz. And North because he he is able to do much better in some of the rural area, some of these suburban areas. In fact, Trump did win the state by a likely margin back in 2016, and I imagine Ted Cruz would only do better. Now for this now for some of the Rust Belt states. These are states that Hillary Clinton would have done a lot better in. If it wasn't for the former for Donald Trump to be in the Dem Republican primary race. Now, the state of Minnesota, first off, she did win that state in 2016. I think she would have also won that state 
against Ted Cruz and probably by a more comfortable margin, given that, again, Ted Cruz has nowhere close to the amount of Rust Belt appeal, and Hillary Clinton at the time was actually pretty decently popular. Now, going to the state of Wisconsin here. Wisconsin, I think Hillary Clinton will also won the state. Again, Trump barely actually won state. He won by less than 1%. He won by less than 20,000 votes. And at the end of the day, Ted Cruz is... Ted Cruz is really um, no Donald Trump in some of the Rust Belt states, and he would have done nowhere as close to being as well as the as former President Trump. And in this case, Trump isn't running, so he, he definitely doesn't have close to the amount of Rust Belt appeal. Now let's go to the state of North Carolina. I'm just choosing random states here. I think North Carolina Ted Cruz will won. It would have been closer than the margin in 2000. And 16 against President Trump, um, at the time Donald Trump, because of the fact that, um, really the state, I think would have been a lot closer because he would not have had the role appeal Trump had. And in fact, Hillary Clinton in this election is probably going to do much better than what he she was able to manage against. Trump because she would have won a lot of the Rust Belt states. In fact, not only is Wisconsin going to be a state that goes with Clinton by around 4 or 5, Michigan's actually going to be a state that goes with Clinton by around 7 to 8 points. And that is with scientific backing. In the 2016 election, sure, Donald Trump actually defeated Hillary Clinton. But the reason this is a likely state against Ted Cruz is because Obama in 2008 actually won by 15 points. Now, what about the state of Pennsylvania? Now, this is also a Rust Belt state, and a state like, and a Rust Belt state typically prefers someone like Hillary Clinton over someone like Ted Cruz. Again, Trump barely won the state, and not to, not to mention that Trump was pretty much an electoral juggernaut in the Rust Belt, and even he only won the state by less than one. So Ted Cruz had really no chance, would have no chance against Hillary Clinton in the Rust Belt states. Now, I do think a civil uh. Now, I do think that the uh, silver lining here for Ted Cruz, the second district of Nebraska would have been a lot redder if it wasn't for Donald Trump. And as well as that, I think Ted Cruz would have done much better in the state of Virginia. Do keep in mind that Tim Kaine was Hillary Clinton's running mate. Tim Kaine won by 15 points, more than 15 points on the Senate level. How, However, I think with Ted Cruz being on the ballot, I think Ted Cruz would have done a lot better in the Washington, D.C. suburbs with... Virginia would have only been a told state. And as well as that, I think for the state of Maine, I think the at-large vote would have went to Clinton by a likely margin as well as the 2nd District. Prior to Donald Trump, Republicans had no luck in the 2nd District, but now it's a solidly Republican district thanks to Donald Trump and his influence in that district. Now, for the final couple of states here. Clinton has already been elected president in this hypothetical matchup because of the fact that really she, um, she I think, would have won against anyone except Donald Trump, which we saw in 2016. Now, for the final couple of states here, um, first off, in the state of Florida, I think Florida, Hillary Clinton would have actually defeated Ted Cruz because of the fact that Again, she barely lost the state in 2000, 2016, and we we saw what happened in 2020. Biden actually did worse than Hillary Clinton, which shows one thing, really. The state was trending red because of Donald Trump, and if Trump was not in the race, technically Hillary Clinton would have done a lot better than than what she did in 2016, as well as that the state of New Hampshire should have also went to Hillary Clinton. Now, Iowa and Ohio. These are states that Obama was able to carry, Clinton was able to carry at both Iowa and Ohio in both of his elections. I think Ted Cruz would have narrowly won them, potentially, or narrowly lost them. I think, for a matter of fact, Hillary Clinton would have won the state of Ohio. Now, this is really, really interesting, because Ohio predicted the presidential winner for more than 60 years until 2016, where it was broken, where 2020 where it was broken. Trump won the state by more than 8 points, but actually lost the presidential election. Ohio was typically considered a swing state, and not only a swing state, a decider state. A state that really reflected who was going to win the presidential election. And in this case, without Trump, the business and outsider individual, really I think Hillary Clinton would have won that. For the state of Iowa, I think Ted Cruz would have won because, again, he did very, very well of the in the Iowa caucuses to suggest that he, he still had some strength over 
over Donald Trump in the state. So I'm going to put this in the tilt Republican category. So now Hillary Clinton at 325 to tr Ted Cruz at 213. That's the final map. But don't click off the video yet because there's still one thing we have to talk about here. Without Trump being the race, I think Trump was definitely the best candidate when we look back from now. Because at the 2016 election, people actually thought that Donald Trump was actually a joke. But he actually, I think, would have done a whole lot better than any other potential GOP candidates. And what is really interesting here is that Ted Cruz, although he ends up doing significantly worse than Donald Trump, he still did overperform Trump in some regions. He would have overperformed Trump in states like Colorado, Arizona, and Virginia. These are states that are trending blue now thanks to Trump. However, he would have significantly underperformed in the Rust Belt. The Rust Belt would have held the blue wall would have held with the Democratic Party if it wasn't for Donald Trump's entering into politics. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.